single day. Let's go to the bay and get a death by hook. I'm taking the Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is uh, Robert Munoz. Welcome to my channel, Death by Hook. Today, we are going to be talking about um, beads. Salmon fishing is really hot and heavy right now. We have a trip coming up that we do every year. We're going to be heading out to uh, the Feather River. We're going to go to Oroville and we're going to do some combat fishing and we're going to, uh, you know, try our luck. Last year I got skunked. Um, I only went once. This... Yep, so we plan on going a lot more this year. We have a couple pla a couple trips planned here coming up. So we're going to try trolling this year and we're, we're going to go back up to Oroville. We're going to do some combat fishing and I'm also going to take my uh, new kayak and we're going to head out there and I'm going to try to catch some salmon on a kayak. So I got a couple different ways I'm going to go up there and try to catch salmon for you guys. Uh, but the one thing I did come across that really sparked my interest was last year all we did is we were flossing. We were using, you know, one bead, a hook, and, you know, that's it. We're throwing out our leaders, you know, two, three foot leaders, and that's all you need really. But I, I didn't know that there were so many different types of beads. And <clears throat> I think I just found one of the best beads that you can get for salmon fishing. So I wanted to go over what I found with you guys. And then we're going to put um, we're gonna put those to the test. Alright, so I'm going to go over some of the beads that I was using. And then I'm going to go over the beads that I just found that are awesome and amazing and I'm you know we're getting a lot of great feedback from them so hopefully this will help you on your you know journey this year to catch salmon um, so let's get into it let's talk about these beads so let's start off with uh, just the cheap beads that I got at the bait shop they look similar to this So we got some uh, eight millimeter, just red beads. They're real small. Um, I think somebody told me they look like undeveloped row. And uh, they're very tiny. If you can see that. So these are pretty small. So these are pretty cheap and you can get them anywhere. So that's what we were using last year. This is one of the things we... The other thing I bought last year was a bead kit. So this kit has a bunch of different beads in here. Different sizes, different colors. Um, you know, it's got some bobber stoppers. And I believe I got this kit at uh, Sportsman's Warehouse. So I got it in... Um, I believe it's like where you can make your own fly jigs. I saw this kit, I picked it up, I think it was like 20 bucks. Killer beads, um, I can open it real quick and show you guys, you know, the difference between those cheap beads and um, these are a little bit more, these are a little bit bigger and they're a little bit more polished. So in this bead kit, I mean, you got like these real nice, little pink beads so they got these real nice little orange ones and these are all pretty cool and like I said um, you can't the, the camera doesn't do it justice but they do look pretty generic and these are all just hard beads now I want to introduce you to the beads that I found recently that we're gonna go up and guaranteed I'm going to be successful with these beads because they look amazing compared to these. It's a small company. It's called Lured Beads. So here's the package that they come in. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Lured Beads. And I don't know if you can tell already, but these are a lot bigger. These are actually the floating beads. So one of the things you, you want floating beads is for is, I mean, you, you want them on your hook and you want the hook to float up so the fish can grab it. So I bought some of these floating beads, but the ones that I'm really excited about 
are these. And I got a bunch of different colors, but I don't know if you could see this. I'm going to show you the difference in the quality of the bee. So this bead here, trying to get the camera to focus, it's really difficult. Mm, maybe right there, okay, that's gonna be our best picture. The thing you can't tell about this bead here is that <clears throat> it's a hard bead in the center, just like those, but on the outside, it's nice and soft. So I don't know if you can see me, I'm squeezing it right here. So this bead, when the fish picks it up, it feels like real salmon roe. So if it feels like real salmon roe, I mean, you should get a, a better bite. So I'm hoping that these are going to be, these are called the incognito beads, and you can get them from Lured. Like I said, I just ordered them. You might want to get them before they run out. Um, but, I mean, dude, they look like amazing beads. And they have floating beads they have incognito beads i got the incognito kit i'm going to show you what that looks like real quick comes with one of these and then it comes with i got the orange because everybody that i've seen use these beads have caught fish and they they've been using the orange they say the orange is like the hitter so try to get the orange And it comes with all kinds of different colors. That's a hard bead there. So that's going to be some of our floating. And here are some more incognito beads. So these are a hard bead with a soft um, membrane on the outside. Just like a real salmon egg. Okay, so this is what you get when you order from lured beads. <clears throat> so these are some of the floating beads that I was talking about. And these are hard, but they float. And they send, you know, they send you some bobber stoppers, which is pretty cool. Send you a little card. Um, they wrote me something, you know, thanks. Um, tight lines from Randy from Lured. That is pretty cool. You don't really see stuff like that on invoices. Um, they sent me a little decal, which is pretty cool. And then these are what I really wanted. These are the incognito um, hard shell, hard bead with the outside soft membrane. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, open some up and show you guys. All right, so these are the incognito beads and the floating beads. So let's, oh, let's open these up. So these are the just the pink ones. And we're going to see here. I mean, look at that. I mean, so as you can tell, um, you squeeze them. They have an outside membrane, but the inside is hard. And and, and there's a spot here to, to run, your, um, run your line through, which is pretty cool. And, and just to show you the difference between, okay, let's go super cheap bean. This is a super cheap bead. This is the first bead I showed you. This is how much bigger they are. This is just a hard red bead. And this is an incognito, incognito soft bead, which is pretty cool. And then um, I'll get one of the other ones out just so you can see the difference between something that's a little bit more polished. Let's see if we get some red ones here. All right, so here's the difference. So this is like the cheap bead that you can get anywhere. This is in that kit that I showed you that I got. And this is your incognito. And this is soft, but it has the same thickness as this bead on the inside. And I mean, look at that, man. I mean, that, when a fish bites that, I mean, it looks and feels a lot more real than these hard beads. And that's just that pink one. Let's let's pull out an orange one. Let's check that one out. Because I heard the orange 
is the way to go. And hopefully I have enough in this kit to last me because everybody knows you get snagged up. So look at this orange. So this is more on the same, same page. I don't know if you see that, but it almost looks like there's a fish embryo in there. And that's what I think... I think that's why these catch so much more salmon than these. And yeah, there's a little bit of a price difference, but man, if you're going to drive all the way up to Oroville for one day, fish eight hours, and you have to come back with a fish, I mean, I would take my chances with this bead than these other beads. So that's just to show you the quality of these lured beads. Check them out. Best beads you can buy for salmon fishing. So today we're just doing our open box. And I'm going to use these beads on our fishing trip. And I'm going to show you how good they are. I've seen other YouTube videos. If you didn't know about them, now you know. So I just wanted to show you guys these incognito beads. Because I thought that they were amazing. Alright, so I know this was a short, sweet video. I just wanted to go over that, you know, I first started salmon fishing last year. And I didn't know that, um, man, beads can make a difference. And, I mean, I showed you today the different quality in the beads. I mean, we got the, the cheapies, which, hey, man, that's okay. That's cool. But you might not catch fish. You know, so then you got the kit that's a little bit more expensive. It's $20. I mean, obviously, who knows if you're going to use all these beads. Who knows if any of these beads work. There's no feedback. I haven't seen anything except, you know, I just bought them off the shelf. So, are they proven? I'm sure somebody caught some fish on them, but I don't know if they did or not. Um, I haven't seen any videos. Guys are just throwing beads. So, how do you know about your bead? Is your bead game strong? So, then... You run across some lured, some lured beads. You know what I mean? And these are high quality beads. So if I'm going to drive somewhere and I'm going to be successful, I want a, my best chance at catching salmon on my first try. And I know what everybody, every fisherman is going to say. Hey, man, there's no way you can guarantee a catch. And I never said that I would guarantee a catch. But what I am saying is these incognito beads, I mean, look at that. They're, it looks like there's a baby fish growing in there right now. Baby salmon's growing in there. It's hard in the center. It's going to last a long time. And it's soft on the outside. That fish is going to pick this up over any of those. So do beads matter? Yes, beads do matter. Just like in everything in life, the more realistic, the more, um, the the better the quality, the you know, the better the catch. And like I said, if I'm gonna go out there and spend all that time trying to catch a salmon, you know, I'm gonna go ahead and uh, I'm gonna buy the stuff that is gonna make me more successful on the water. So. My name is Robert Munoz. Thank you for watching. This is just a short video on some beads. I thought, you know, we're getting ready for a salmon trip. Why not talk about the stuff that I'm doing right now to get ready for my trip? Maybe you should be doing the same thing. Do some research on these lured beads. I mean, you'll see a lot of um, a lot of catches on these incognito beads. And I mean, I'm telling you, when you touch them, when you fill them, when you play with these, when you set these up. These are way better than those cheap beads. Again, my name is Robert Munoz. Thank you for watching my channel, Death by Hook. If you like this, don't forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment at the bottom. I am not sponsored by Lured Beads, but I'm going to successfully catch some fish with these, and I'm going to show you guys that quality of beads does matter when you're catching fish. I got skunk last year. Not happening again this year. Driving all the way down there, and I'm going to come back with a salmon. All right, guys. Tight lines. Cast your fears away. Thank you for watching.
Let's go fish all day Let's go to the bay And get a death by hook I'm taking the boat to the pier I got no fear, I'm living it up I'm filling it up I got a bucket of fish, death by hook Cast your fears away